If you want to learn English using stories, you have good ideas and you're in the right place. Learning phrases in context is the best way to improve your English grammar, vocabulary, and fluency. Hi, my name is Ming and I teach English. Today we're going to learn some idioms, some collocations, a lot of them using the verb to make, as well as some other native expressions and vocabulary. We're going to read a short story broken down into six sections. So I'm going to read a section, then I'm going to explain the native expressions in that section and provide you with more example sentences so that you can see how to use these expressions in your English conversations. At the end, you'll have a chance to listen to the full story, hopefully without subtitles, to check your listening and also to see how much you remembered. By the end of this video, you should be able to use these expressions more confidently in your own conversations. If you like content like this, hit like and subscribe to get more of it. Let's get started. Michael was a charismatic chef who owned a small restaurant in a bustling city. The restaurant was called Sunset Cafe and it was becoming well known for its delectable cuisine. One day, an influential food critic announced his arrival in the city. Michael saw this as a golden opportunity to make a name for himself in the culinary world. Someone who is charismatic is charming or attractive. It has to do with your physical appearance, but it has more to do with your personality. He's a charismatic leader that effortlessly attracts people to him. Authoritarian leaders can be charismatic. She's so charismatic, I'm sure she's going to do great in sales. Psychopaths and narcissists can also be charismatic. So Michael is a charismatic chef. The pronunciation of the word chef, even though it's written CH, is the SH sound. SH, CH, the CH has a stop quality. You're cutting off the sound sharply. With the SH, shh, it can keep going forever. You're just blowing air. So chef has the SH and chief, chief has the CH. A city that is bustling is very busy. There's a lot of activity. There's a lot of energy. There's a lot of movement. The bustling cafe always has a line of customers out the door. The market is always bustling in the evenings. The opposite of bustling when we're talking about a city or a town might be sleepy, dead, or quiet. Some people love bustling cities. Others really prefer sleepy countryside towns. Delectable means delicious, right? It's not so common. It's more common to say fucking delicious. To make a name for oneself means to become well-known or famous. Through his research, Dr. Jordan Peterson made a name for himself in the field of psychology. In 2020, Billie Eilish made a name for herself by being the youngest person to win a Grammy. Excitement filled the air as the critic made his way to the restaurant. Michael had spent countless hours perfecting his menu, hoping to make a killing with his creations. Making one mistake could ruin everything. So he made sure everything was perfect. The tables were set, the ambiance was delightful, and the aromas coming from the kitchen would make anyone's mouth water. So to make your way somewhere means to go there or to travel there gradually. So maybe you're going across the world and you wanna make certain stops along the way. You can say you're making your way across the world. After spending a year and a half in Latin America, I finally made my way back to Asia. In fact, my original goal was to make my way around the world. But when COVID happened, I got stuck in Vietnam and then made my way to Turkey. 
To make your way somewhere means to travel there, to go there. To make your way in the world is an expression that means to be successful, to find a path to success that works for you. So many high schoolers still don't know how they're going to make their way in the world. To make a killing is to make a significant amount of money. You're making a lot of money, you're making a killing. So we can make a killing off of something that we produced or sold. J.K. Rowling made a killing off of Harry Potter. And we can make a killing in an industry. Ray Dalio has made a killing in the international stock market. We make mistakes. We don't do mistakes, we make mistakes. Make usually has this connotation of creating something or producing something. We also make errors, make decisions, make choices, and make messes. If you make one mistake on social media, you can get banned. I read a quote recently that said, if you're not making mistakes, you are not making decisions. To make sure of something is actually to take certain actions to ensure that something is gonna be done. Make sure to turn off the air conditioner before you leave the room. You can make sure that you understand all of this new vocabulary by listening to the full story at the end without subtitles. Ambiance refers to what kind of environment a place has. You might also say vibe. What's the environment like? What's the vibe like? You might have like a restaurant with a very formal, fancy ambiance, or a very chill, laid back, relaxed ambiance, or very simple and modern, right? When you look on Google for restaurants and they have the photos, if you click vibe, the vibe is giving you the ambiance, is giving you what's this place look like. In the story, it says the aromas from the kitchen would make anyone's mouth water. If something makes your mouth water, it means it looks or it smells really tasty. The smell of grilled meat always makes my mouth water. We can also use mouth watering as an adjective to describe food. Someone get me the recipe for these mouth watering chicken wings. The critic arrived accompanied by a group of discerning foodies. Michael, nervously wiping his hands on his apron, mustered up the courage to make a suggestion. May I recommend our signature dish, the rainbow shrimp? It's a delightful combination of flavors that will surely make your day. The critic nodded approvingly and the order was started. As the dishes were served, Michael could make out the expression on the faces of the guests. The critic's eyes widened in awe as he took his first bite. Michael anxiously waited for the verdict, wondering if he had made the cut. A foodie is someone who loves food. I mean, they like to try new kinds of food everywhere they go. They're very interested in gourmet cuisine, but also just any kind of food. Are you a foodie? Because I'm a foodie. To muster up the courage means to force yourself to be brave, to do something that scares you. She was afraid of the water, but finally mustered up the courage to get into the sea. You can muster courage or you can muster up the courage. Pluck up courage, summon courage, or find courage. Find courage is the most common in casual conversation. After a month, he finally plucked up the courage to ask her out on a date. I always get really nervous before going to a new gym, but I always find the courage to go. We make suggestions. We make recommendations. We make a proposal. We make a proposition. So in all of these cases, we are giving some advice or suggestion right? Like we're offering an opinion. So we are making a recommendation. When I tell people I'm here looking for an apartment, they make many recommendations. 
delightful is wonderful or joyful, right? So a delightful culinary experience is a fantastic, wonderful culinary experience. It's really great food in a great atmosphere. We had a great time. Delightful can also be about someone's personality, right? So you can say someone has a delightful personality, meaning that they're a pleasure to be around, right? She's a delightful girl or she has a delightful sense of humor. To make someone's day just means to make them happy. When someone says they like my teaching style, it always makes my day. Sometimes a smile from a stranger can be enough to make your day. Make out. There's a couple different ways to use this term. One is kissing a lot, like intensely kissing for a long time. That is not what we're talking about here. This make out involves being able to see something that's difficult to see. So in the story, he could make out the expressions on the guests' faces. That means even though it was hard to see, he could see what the, their faces looked like. It was dark, so I couldn't make out what the street sign said. Without my glasses, I cannot make out text messages on my phone. The handwriting on his letter was so bad that I couldn't make out the address. To make the cut means to meet some kind of requirements that you need to meet in order to be selected. The cut is actually the people that they cut, that they get rid of, right? So if you make the cut, it means you've made it to the next round. You've made it to the next step in whatever interview or audition or whatever it is that you're going through. So if you have an audition as an actor, you're really hoping that you're going to make the cut. The company has tens of thousands of applicants every single year, but only a handful make the cut. If you have made it this far, this tiny axolotl is proud of you. Keep going. We're about halfway through. Suddenly, the critic's face lit up with delight. He proclaimed, this is divine. Michael, it's truly remarkable. Michael's heart swelled with joy, realizing that his hard work had paid off. The news of Michael's success made its way through the city, and soon enough, the restaurant was flooded with patrons eager to enjoy a delightful culinary experience. Michael realized he needed to make it to the next level. He decided to make the restaurant into a five-star establishment determined to make waves in the culinary world. When somebody's face lights up, their expression becomes really joyful. Like you, you can see their excitement or their happiness on their face. When she heard the news of her promotion, her face lit up with a big smile. As soon as the children heard music from the ice cream truck, their faces lit up. Divine literally means of God or like God, but that's not how we're using it. We use it to mean freaking awesome, right? So he said that the food was divine. About food, it probably means that it's like very rich or very tasty. Their chocolate lava cake was divine with its gooey center. Or we can also say divine about an experience that was really nice, something that felt really beautiful or luxurious. We drank wine and watched the sunset over the ocean. It was divine. Hard work pays off. If something pays off, that means it was worth it. It was worth the effort that you had to put in. Months of training finally paid off when he won the marathon. Sometimes working smart pays off better than working hard. So make your way is to travel to a place. The news of Michael's success made its way through the city. So we said to make, if I'm making my way across the world, it means I'm traveling there. So this information can make its way through the city. It just means it's spreading through the city. People are talking about his success. The news made its way through social media or COVID started in one country, but quickly made its way throughout the entire world. To make it 
If you make it, that means you are finally at the level of success that you had wanted, that you had hoped for. One day you're gonna make it, you're gonna be really successful. The team finally made it to the championship game. Another way to say you make it is you arrived, right? So you made it, you've arrived, you are successful. By the way, both of these phrases can be used in a literal way too. Like when someone physically arrives, they come to visit you. Oh, I'm so glad you made it. It means I'm glad that you could come. I'm glad you arrived. To make something into something else or to turn something into something else means to convert it or transform it into something different, right? Like we made the basement into an office. Or last year, I turned my front yard into a haunted house. To make waves is to disrupt something, probably in some organization. You are disrupting their way of doing things. No matter what you think about Donald Trump, he definitely made waves in the White House. TikTok disrupted the status quo by making waves in the tech industry. Actually, it can be dangerous to make waves because you call attention to yourself. Some people might see you as a threat. Another thing that means the same thing as make waves is rock the boat. If you're pointing out too many things that are wrong with the political system, for example, or maybe in your company, in the company that you work for, Someone might warn you, don't rock the boat. Just be quiet and go along with the way that things are. Don't make waves, don't rock the boat. With the newfound success, however, came challenges. Jealous competitors occasionally tried to make off with his recipes, but Michael made sure his recipes were kept a secret. New found something means you just found it or you just discovered it. It's used as an adjective. After taking regular English conversations lessons, his newfound confidence helped him to get a new job. My newfound perspective came from reading his poetry. To make off with something is to steal it. The thief made off with some small but valuable items. The cat made off with several pieces of meat before I realized what she was doing. Okay, so in the story it says, keep a secret. We keep secrets. We keep promises. We also break promises. So you can keep a promise or break a promise. We also keep in mind, which means remember or consider, think about. Keep in mind that you have exams coming up. And we keep in touch, which means keep in contact with someone. When we used to sign yearbooks at the end of the year in school, we always used to write, love ya, keep in touch, which was then shortened to K-I-T. As the years went by, Michael's restaurant became an iconic establishment, loved by locals and tourists alike. He made it a point to give back to the community that had supported him throughout his journey. Michael made it up to his loyal customers by organizing charity events and donating a portion of his earnings to local causes. Looking back, Michael realized that his passion for cooking had made his life extraordinary. He had come a long way from humble beginnings to being a celebrated chef. He had made a decision to pursue his dreams and made his mark on the culinary scene. Iconic is an adjective. The noun that it comes from is icon. An icon is an image or a symbol. It's like a famous symbol of something that many, many people recognize. The Eiffel Tower is an icon and it represents the city of Paris. So we can say, the Eiffel Tower is iconic. A photograph that is iconic is the one where Marilyn Monroe's white dress is blowing in the wind. That's an iconic photo. And iconic is actually a slang term. 
people will say that's iconic about stuff that's not iconic at all. We might also say that something is classic to mean the same thing. It's like a recurring theme or a story that everyone knows or an image that everyone knows. It's iconic or it's classic. This guy is classic and he's iconic and he's a meme. In the story, it says he made it a point to give back to the community. When you make it a point to do something, it's kind of like making it a point of points on your list of things to do, right? So you're gonna make sure to do it, make sure it happens. Despite his busy schedule, he makes it a point to work out four times a week. To make it up to someone is to compensate for some mistake that you've made, right? You're trying to make it better. After he forgot about their anniversary, he tried to make it up to his wife by taking her on a cruise. The Airbnb had terrible Wi-Fi, but made it up to me by getting me my own personal router in the room. To make your mark is to have a lasting impact on the world or your world, your society, your field, your family, something. You're going to leave your mark by impacting the world that you live in. Dostoevsky made his mark on the world through his writing. You don't have to be famous to make your mark on the world. You can affect the people closest to you. Do you think it's more important to make your mark on the world or to be wealthy in this life? As I mentioned, I recommend that you turn off the subtitles. Just listen. As you're listening, try to pay attention to the phrases that we just went over and see how much you can remember. I want to let you know that I'm going to start rewriting fairy tales, myths, and legends in simple modern English in order to teach these native English expressions. I think the stories are going to be more interesting. I think they're going to be more memorable. And it's also just really fun for me. So if there are some fairy tales, myths, or legends that you know from your culture or from any culture, leave them in the comments. I'm interested to check them out. Okay, let's listen. Michael was a charismatic chef who owned a small restaurant in a bustling city. The restaurant was called Sunset Cafe, and it was becoming well known for its delectable cuisine. One day, an influential food critic announced his arrival in the city. Michael saw this as a golden opportunity to make a name for himself in the culinary world. Excitement filled the air as the critic made his way to the restaurant. Michael had spent countless hours perfecting his menu, hoping to make a killing with his creations. Making one mistake could ruin everything, so he made sure everything was perfect. The tables were set, the ambiance was delightful, and the aromas coming in from the kitchen would make anyone's mouth water. The critic arrived, accompanied by a group of discerning foodies. Michael, nervously wiping his hands on his apron, mustered up the courage to make a suggestion. May I recommend our signature dish, the rainbow shrimp? It's a delightful combination of flavors that will surely make your day. The critic nodded approvingly and the order was started. As the dishes were served, Michael could make out the expressions on the faces of the guests. The critic's eyes widened in awe as he took his first bite. Michael anxiously waited for the verdict, wondering if he had made the cut. Suddenly, the critic's face lit up with delight. He proclaimed, this is divine. Michael, it's truly remarkable. Michael's heart swelled with joy, realizing that his hard work had paid off. The news of Michael's success made its way through the city, 
and soon enough, the restaurant was flooded with patrons eager to make it to the next level. He decided to make the restaurant into a five-star establishment determined to make waves in the culinary world. With the newfound success, however, came challenges. Jealous competitors occasionally tried to make off with his recipes, but Michael made sure his recipes were kept a secret. As the years went by, Michael's restaurant became an iconic establishment loved by locals and tourists alike. He made it a point to give back to the community that had supported him throughout his journey. Michael made it up to his loyal customers by organizing charity events and donating a portion of his earnings to local causes. Looking back, Michael realized that his passion for cooking had made his life extraordinary. He had come a long way from humble beginnings to becoming a celebrated chef. He had made a decision to pursue his dreams and make his mark on the culinary scene. How did you do? Leave me a comment and let me know what percentage you understood. Find me on TikTok where I'm posting daily videos while you are waiting for longer uploads here on YouTube. And leave your fairy tales, myths, and legends in the comments. Thank you for watching. Bye.